Hey guys, Dr. Gallenbor, Norfolk Spine and Joint Institute. This is the spine, but it's part of the spine that typically doesn't get in trouble. This is mid-back, otherwise called thoracic spine. Again, similar to um, lumbar spine area, we have the bones, which are called the vertebrae, the discs, the shock absorbers between them. In the back, we have the joints called facet joints, and then here we have the canal, the central canal, where the spinal cord is. And again, we have these keyholes where the uh, nerve roots come out called foramens. Typically, if somebody has mid-back pain, we start looking elsewhere. Is the pain referred pain from the um, segment above, which is the cervical spine or the lumbar spine? Why? Because the thoracic spine doesn't have a lot of movement. Um, we have taken the rib cage off, and the rib cage does not allow the thoracic spine segments to move, and therefore we have less wear and tear on the discs and the joints. But having said that, once we've ruled out the pain is referred pain from another part, we will concentrate on the mid back. And like any part of the spine, you could have disc degeneration, disc herniation, arthritis of the facet joints pinched nerve <clears throat> causing thoracic radiculopathy or thoracic type sciatica, which will give you not leg pain, but abdominal belly pain and um, pain in the um, rib cage area. And like all other conditions, our job here at Nortex is to try to narrow down the diagnosis, make the accurate diagnosis, and that is vital to build up a treatment plan that is the right for one for you. Thank you so much for watching this.